Life gives you lemons, paint them. This is not intended to be a detailed step-by-step -step instruction video. I'm an amateur artist learning by trial and error. This is a video of how I painted a bowl of lemons from start to finish using texture paint for the first time. I started with a um, 11 by 14 black canvas. You can buy the canvas already painted black or you can paint it black yourself. I'm using acrylic paints which are very forgiving. Um, I start by outlining in pencil and um, on black it looks sort of like a, a gray color, the um, fruit bowl and the fruit that I'm going to paint inside of it. I'm filling in the bowl. I want it sort of a navy blue color. Um, this might be a little dark, but I'm starting with blue and black mixed together on the paintbrush. I'm doing the little edges on the top here, I'm filling those spaces in that the lemons won't be hiding. Now I'm starting in on the yellow lemons. Um, this acrylic paint is very thin, so I'm going to have to give several coats to it. As you can see, here's a few more coats. I'm using two different kinds of yellow acrylic. One of them is a little bit thicker than the other. And I decided the bowl is too dark, so I'm adding a lot more of the brighter blue. Now I'm putting a little peach color on the lemons just to give so they don't look just solid yellow. Just a little bit of highlight. I'll be blending those in. As I'm sitting here, I noticed I had Liquitex on the shelf and I bought it a long time ago and wanted to try it. So I think fruit is the perfect place to give it a try since fruit has a natural texture to it. So I'm going to mix some of the paints together and see what happens. So this is what the lemons look like with the Liquitex mixed in with yellow paint. Um, it's kind of lumpy and bumpy and I think I like it. So I put some of the color back onto the fruit and I put some texture on the bowl and I did add in the stems. So in this one I've added some um, texture to the bowl and some more shadows on the fruit and I did add some white reflections in as well. And now I'm going to put some more texture on the background which is just solid black and it definitely needs something so this looks dark and shaded because it's wet. When I took the picture, the paint was very wet. I had just finished doing that part. So I'm fine-tuning the reflections now, smoothing them out a little bit. And now I'm done. I, you can't see it in this picture, but the background um, does have a, a line in there somewhere. The, it's actually sitting on a table, but it's very hard to see because it's black. So I'm going to walk away at this point and come back later and see um, what I need to change. Sometimes if I look at the same thing for too long, I just don't know what needs to be done. I'm back. Now I'm going to put some more white on the bottom of the bowl. I lost that somewhere along the line. The right side of the bowl in this pic picture looks a little bit off to me, um, not quite the same as the left side. So I'm going to fix that. And I also took a wet paper towel. Um, and put a little watered down gray paint on it and just sort of dab the background so it doesn't look solid black. That way there's a little bit of contrast between the, the wall behind the bowl and the table that it's sitting on. And you can just, in this picture, see the round edge of the table. This is a close-up of the texture of the lemons in the bowl. And another close-up of that lemon that was on the table. And another close-up. Now that I've seen this after walking away for a bit and fixing the side of the bowl, I don't like the round edge on the table, so I'm going to straighten that edge out with some black paint. And here is the table edge, so it looks like it's sitting on a flat, <coughs> excuse me, flat table instead of a round one. And I painted, I took the um, painting outside and sprayed it with two coats of acrylic spray. I let it dry a couple of hours in between each coat. It makes the whole um, painting shiny. It makes the colors brighter. And it, when it's finished, it looks a lot like an oil painting instead of an acrylic painting. So I took this outside so you could see the light outdoor. And here's a picture of it inside my house. It's funny how they do look very different. And here is the complete painting sitting in my kitchen, probably where it's going to find a home eventually. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. I enjoyed using the texture paints. I think I might actually do that again, um, try an ocean scene or something. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this. Thank you very much.